Thank you, Heavenly Father God, for the power of your glory, Father God, and the manifestation thereof, O oh God. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, that we are not weak, but that we are strong, Father God, because Christ's strength is made perfect in our weakness, Heavenly Father God, and we thank you for that. We thank you for your loving kindness towards us, Father God, though we do not deserve it. For as it is written in your word, Father God, we are but filthy rags, but you love us so much that you gave your only begotten Son that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. And therefore, Father God, we will stand steadfast in the liberty where Christ has made us free, Father God. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, that you have called for us to be liberated, Father God, and to glory in that liberty, Father God, and to walk, Father God, boldly in the purpose, Father God, that you have called us to, Father God. Thank you for destiny, Heavenly Father God. We are God chasers, Heavenly Father God, and we have come on this morning, Father God, to receive a word a word from you, Father God, a life-changing word, a now word, a rhema word, Father God, from you. We have come, Father God, before you with our hearts open to receive, Father God. And we ask you, Father God, to shed light on any dark place within us, Father God. Set all crooked paths straight that we may be able to receive, Father God. Break up the fallow grounds of our heart, creating us clean hearts and renewing us the right spirit, Father God, that we may be able to receive from you on this day. Father God, we love you, we honor you, we thank you for your grace that is sufficient for us. We thank you for your everlasting mercy that endureth forever, Father God. And we thank you for the unmerited favor that you so graciously bestow upon us each and every day, Father God. We thank you for this walk in destiny, O oh God. We thank you for a life of purpose. We thank you that you have called for us to be trailblazers and world changers, O oh God. Empower us to come up out of our will and our intellect and our emotions, Father God, and to ascend in heavenly places and remain seated be beside Christ Jesus, Father God, where you have called for us to be. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, that we live above lack and abundance. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, that we live above reality and truth. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, that we live above the lies and truth, oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, that you have given us power over scorpions and serpents, Father God, and over unclean spirits, and that nothing in any wise shall harm us, Father God. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, for the power that you have given us, Father God, to abide in your truth. In all of our days, Father God, we will believe you. We will continue to glorify and magnify your name, no matter what it looks like, Father God, because we walk by faith and not by sight, Father God. And we believe that we have received everything that we have asked for in faith, and we know that we shall have it. We know that if we say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and do not doubt or waver in our hearts, that it shall be done for us, Father God. We thank you for Jesus, Father God. We thank you for empowering us to take our eyes off of ourselves and to keep our eyes fixed to the hills from whence cometh our help, O oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, for Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, that you have set us up on a high place, on that high rock of revelation power, Father God. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, that you have set us on that high rock, Father God, of the apostolic ministry. Thank you, Father God, that you have set us up on that high rock that is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Father God, we love you, we honor you, we thank you, and we pray. Amen. Amen.